You jumped off a building into a giant paper plane. <laughs> Could you actually fly in it? No, not in any practical sense. Gliding requires a controlled lift to weight ratio and a pilot's ability to steer. Paper has neither. Well, to make it big enough, you would need a piece of paper <laughs> half the size of a football field. Oh, at least. This grows weight dramatically while strength grows slowly. Similar issue when scaling a research reactor up to a power reactor. Neutron leakage and heat removal just scale different. Each fold would be reinforced with metal strips. Okay. And you would need to soak it in resin to keep the paper stiff. So at this point, paper is a decorative veneer, not a structural material. So is it still a paper airplane? To fly it, you would need a giant wire, pulling it into the air almost a hundred miles an hour. Okay. If you were sitting on top, your weight would soon tip it forward. But for a few seconds, you would actually be able to fly. This is the equivalent of placing an unbalanced control rod bundle on the top of the core. Gravity's gonna win, and you're gonna collapse before you achieve stable operation.